You're gonna see the whole process of making a tank float inside of a pond. I don't know if you guys have seen that before, but it's freaking awesome. Nice and dry. Place it right there. Place it down there. There. All right. Let's go, you guys. Oh my God! Look how cool this looks. And once they grow up and we get koi in here as well, it'll be bigger fish in here. Welcome back, Blake's Exotic and Amaranth. Ranch. Today, you guys, we are going to be doing some crazy things inside of this pond. Things that you probably have never seen before. And you guys are probably all wondering right now, what the heck happened to your voice, Blake? Well, I've been sick for the last week, but things do not stop here on the ranch, you guys. We do not stop. We always have to keep on moving. Animals have to eat. Everybody has to eat. So, sick or not, things have to get done. But we're going to show you some awesome content right now inside of this pond. Hey guys, so I have to get inside of this pond and that pond is pretty cold because it's been very cold here in South Florida. In order to do that, I have to put on some special clothes. And I'm back. Got some nice uh, gear on right here. And uh, I'm gonna stay dry because I can stay up to this deep of water and it's not that deep in there, it's only about waist deep. So I'll be nice and dry and I won't get any more sick because that water's cold and I don't want to get more sick. So let's get started you guys and you're gonna see the whole process of making a tank float inside of a pond. I don't know if you guys have seen that before, but it's freaking awesome. So we're gonna make it happen right now. A few things that you're gonna have to use to get this going are you're gonna need a few bricks, cinder blocks, a wet back that is right here, and any kind of fish tank that you would like to use inside your pond. And I'm gonna be using that one that's right there. Things gonna look real awesome to put right here. So let's get going. I'm gonna get inside that pond and put in place the two cinder blocks inside of there that are probably about two feet away from each other so that that tank can float above the water. Let's get going. Uh, we got these two right here. So let me bring them over here. Uh, leave one right there and put one right there and get inside the pond and then grab them. And then in here, you guys, we still have the fish. The fish are doing well, they're doing great. Everybody's in there. We're gonna be like, what the heck is coming in here? But we're gonna move real slow. Be careful, so nothing will happen to the fish. All right, and these things are awesome. It's like a wetsuit, nice and dry, perfect. It won't get cold, and I won't get wet. So let's get these bricks and put them in the water. I think I'm gonna place it, actually, God, my voice is gone. I'm gonna place it right here in the middle of the pond so that when we walk out, you guys will be able to see the tank perfectly. Because the whole thing on this is that the fish will go inside of the tank, and the fish will look above the pond. So when people are parking on my driveway and stuff, you're gonna see floating fish. It looks insane. It's awesome. So let's get it going. First brick going right there. And the second brick going a little bit to the side of it. Ugh. Right there. Perfect. And you guys see, you want it the bricks to be about two to three inches below the water so the tank is going to sit underneath the water as well so that it's a suction. So what we're going to do right now is grab that tank, place it on top of here, and then we're going to use the vacuum cleaner and suck all that air out of the tank so the water will start rising. Alright, so let's grab that tank. Nice and dry. Alright you guys, so I'm grabbing this tank. This tank is heavy. I'm using my muscles. I'm going to pick this thing up. You bring it inside of the pond very carefully so that it doesn't crack because this is all glass so you have to be very careful so let's do it i can dump this water so it'll be a little bit lighter too. i'm not that strong let's do it. this is about a 65 gallon tank Ugh, right here let's do it all right you guys follow along and watch this you guys watch it all right we're gonna go very carefully this time. okay we're inside all right, so if you guys see the pointy side, the pointy side, I'm gonna face it that way. And then the three angle sides, I'm gonna face it towards the door so it'll look real nice. I'm gonna place this right here. And then place it right there. Place it down there. There, all right. Now we're gonna turn it so that corner is facing that way. We have a nice angle facing where this will look real nice when everyone comes outside. Might get one more brick so a little bit more support because there's gonna be a lot of water. Move these bricks a little bit to the side. Alright. 
there. Normally, when you have a rimless tank, there's no protection to the glass. So what you would do is you would get foam and put it on the bottom of the brick, or if you're using metal, like a metal uh, frame, put that on the bottom to help cushion the tank from not breaking. But we have this plastic on it, so we'll have no problem at all. Okay, fix this a little bit more, right there. And let's go, let's go get that brick right now, you guys. We got another brick, we had another extra one that was right here. So let's take this bad boy and bring it into the pond for more support. <laughs> yeah, as you guys see, that tank's a little sideways. That back end in that corner, so I'm gonna lift it just a little bit more. So as you just saw, we added the hose inside of the pond because there's gonna be a lot of water that's gonna be having filled up inside of that tank, and I don't want the pumps to turn off from the pond. So we got to make sure it's always circulating. So that's why we have that water running inside of the pond as well. Get that brick and put it in there for more support. And start sucking all that air out. Get a nice water flow in there. Ooh. All right. Let's go right in there. Oh. Oh. A lot of rocks down there. That's the problem. Hold on, you guys. Gonna hold them out the rock on the bottom a little bit. So that's nice and flat down there. All right, Mr. Wells, move over just a little bit. Right, I think that is good. Put that under there. Oh yeah, perfect. Right there, right in that corner. That's gonna give it a lot more support right there. So now we're gonna connect that back with later. And then you can see the process of the water rising up into the tank. All right, so we're gonna move this wet back close to the pond. We're gonna put it right here. There you go. And the connector right here. <coughs> there you go, let's make sure it turns on. We're good. So we gotta back, not blowing it out. So we gotta back it up. So let's connect the tubes to it start taking all that air out you guys so let's connect this bad boy actually to this side over here to the bathroom side let's get this going put it right there there you go all right so let me turn it on make sure it's sucking yeah we're good we got this all right you guys so you and me are watching this right now never done this before <laughs> so let's get going and see how it works out Oh, right inside. All right, so we have enough level right there. So let me turn this thing on. All right, let's go, you guys. Oh my God, it's going fast. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh my God. I can't. I lost my voice. <laughs> my God. Freaking went quick. <laughs> Got a whole freaking tank full of water already. Wow, that was fast. We're gonna do it one more time and get a little bit higher. Holy crap, I didn't think it was gonna work that good. This is freaking awesome. I want you guys to do this at home and send me videos of it on my Instagram, you guys. Blake Desotic and Ranch. I wanna see you guys doing this also. Send me videos and do this inside your ponds. Let's go a little bit higher. Stop! So cough drops right here. It's what's been getting me going through this video for talking. Because um can't really talk too well. Let's keep going. Put a little bit more suction. So I'm gonna put this all the way underneath. Oh, oh. oh man. We have to bring this back a little bit closer. This is freaking awesome, you guys. I'm excited to see these fish swimming inside this tank. Oh. All right, right there. All right, all right, all right. We're doing it right now. Going to the top, baby. All right, you guys ready? Ready? Yep. All right. Let me see it. Oh. <laughs> We're good. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa. All right. Put air back in. Let's do it one more time. 
I'm learning. Never done this before. Do it one more time and just pull it right out. Oh. oh yeah. Perfect, exactly where I want it. So I want to leave a little bit of water. You guys see, it's not to the top. The reason why I'm not doing that is so that I can grab pellets, put it inside of there. So float up to the top, koi pellets, and the goldfish will go to the top. And while we're sitting there watching the fish, they're gonna be eating top of the tank. It'll be awesome. Let's get that going. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna go grab a net real quick and go catch all these little goldfish that we have in here. And I'm gonna help them, show them to go inside the tank so that they know they have more spots to swim. Eventually, they'll be able to do it all on their own. But because it's all in one video, they're not gonna be able to figure it out in one day. So we're gonna teach them right now. So we're gonna just put them, place them right up, and then they'll learn to swim around in there and they go back in and out, in and out without a problem. All right, guys. So I'm bringing back post notification shout outs. So for today's post notification shout out, it goes to Eric on the hike. Bless your channel. Makes me feel like a kid again. Thank you. Keep up the great work. Thank you, Eric on the hike. And you guys, make sure you put some positive comments inside of my videos. And you guys have the chance to getting shouted out on Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. All right, you guys. So we're going to catch some goldfish real quick. Look around for some goldfish. And we have some small ones right here, actually. We're going to scoop these guys up and then put them inside of that tank. Come here, little guys. All right. We got one more, hold on. Well, I don't know where they're at. We're gonna scoop up more in a sec, but we're gonna get them all inside of there right now. All right, you guys, so we got the goldfish inside of here, and as you guys can see, they're swimming around awesome all inside of here. Eventually, they're gonna get used to it, and they're gonna be able to come all the way to the top when we feed. It's gonna look awesome, you guys, but look at this. Look how cool this looks. And once they grow up and we get koi in here as well, it'll be bigger fish in here, and it's gonna look great. When those big goldfish we have in it, maybe even the whales will go in there, the sturgeon, who knows? It would be so cool to have the fish going inside of this tank like that. Once they figure that out, it would be awesome. Look at them go. Look at that 3D fish, you guys. How cool is that? That's freaking awesome. Sitting down, hanging out. You don't have to come up to the pond. You can just look at the pond from like that. Or you're sitting over there. You see the fish swimming on top. I hope you guys have enjoyed and learned something here. So you have to do this at home. We get out of this pond. Because it's still cold in there a little bit with this on here. Get all this off. Let's walk over here. Take all this stuff off. I hope you guys enjoyed that video, you guys. Look how awesome that looks. Once those fish get in there, we'll have update videos and everything. So it's going to look great. Make sure you put those post notifications on. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Let's get to 140K subscribers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think this was awesome. I really enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the upcoming video. Give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys all later. Peace out, everybody. <laughs>